So we're going to fly over the St. Louis airport into a kind of a virtual hangar here. So once again, the same CAD model that we use to design the aircraft is what you'll use to kind of virtually build the aircraft. So what we've shown here is a couple of representative uh, 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 jigs and fixtures. And we'll start with kind of the main keels and decks that we showed you before because you would lay those out uh, as the first step. So first you can use this to figure out factory flow. How do I want to build it? In what order? In what sequence? What tooling do I have? So this may be some existing tooling that you can say it fits very well within that jig. If I were to modify the aircraft, I can export the file right into here and say, ooh, it doesn't fit in that jig anymore. So what seems like a very innocuous design change could actually have a huge ripple impact because I got to retool from an existing uh, jig or fixture. So here's an example. We have the main keels laid in. Next, we can add some additional aircraft structural components and subsystems uh, uh, components as well, as shown in this one. We also have the ability to, to uh, integrate human ergonomic models. You can actually look at what it takes um, from a, a manufacturing uh, um, person to actually assemble this. You can kind of go through the manufacturing steps and make sure that, that this is the correct way. And then finally, we'll come over here and show as you as we put the upper and lower skins on um, and the landing gear as well, um, what it might look like. I'm not close to the hand. Okay. <laughs> So here's an example of the lower with the, with the skin on and, and the main landing gear. So the great thing, once again, this is <laughs> collaborative with our suppliers as well. So they can be here in this virtual hangar as well, seeing what we're, what we're talking about and how we're going to build it, how their part's going to go on, uh, where their part's going to go on. So now that the kind of the virtual build is complete, uh, we can kind of move on to the virtual testing uh, phase. So here we're showing the completed aircraft uh, in the hangar, once again in, in fully immersive 3D. You can actually perform a kind of a virtual walk around of the aircraft. And you'll notice here now we've added some shading and texture effects, which really enhance the realism of, of the model so it doesn't look you know, like a green CAD model sitting there. And you can really put some elaborate paint schemes on there very, very quickly. Uh, and it just helps it make all that more real. So this is, I think we got this model um, last Thursday before we did all this stuff. So once we have this environment set up, dropping a new design in there is very, very quick. Um, so this kind of helps you visualize what it looks like size-wise and stuff. Um, next we'll actually show this taxiing out and then taking off, and then we'll, we'll kind of show these in flight. So you can add animations to these. Once again, this isn't a movie you're looking at. This is actual CAD models with all the mathematical representation behind that. <coughs> We can stop this at any time and you can interrogate that CAD model. You can take the skin off, you can look at the structure, you can do section cuts, you can do analysis, you can do measurements on that data. So it's, it's not just a, 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 a little uh, video that we put together. So now we're going to show that this flight, and you'll actually see two aircraft now, which is another concept that we have for, for advanced air dominance um, uh, coming at you. And once again, even up here, these have the full mathematical representation behind those. It's 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 not just a just a a, a movie flying. It's all the information is with that throughout the life cycle, and that's key. We store the data throughout the life cycle, um, no matter if you're in the design phase, build phase, test phase, or support phase. So things like this allow us to, with our customer early on in the conceptual design phase, do a virtual mission fly through the, with them to see if we understand how the aircraft will be used in the same way. Maybe we're using different words and mean the same thing or the same words, but we meant different things. So you kind of do a virtual mission fly through and say, is this how you envision this scenario playing out? And if it's not, we can correct it and very quickly get a new concept uh, into this environment. We found this has been very beneficial on engaging the customers. The more real you can make it, um, the better. Now, this isn't a substitute for the high fidelity downstream simulations you're going to need. Um, you know, like the flight simulation where, where you've got an operator in the loop in the real cockpit flying the real flight control modes. That will come downstream, but, but early on we found that this is uh, uh, very useful. Okay.